Hey everyone, John from Trophy Tackle. Uh, I want to talk to you today about some great new fishing rods that uh, these offerings are from Tsunami and Maxell. And uh, we're really, really happy to have these rods at the shop. We'll start off with the Tsunami Slim Wave Rod. And this rod is uh, unique in its construction. The rod starts out as a piece of solid carbon. And then the technology exists where they actually bore a hole through the entire blank and make the blank hollow. So it's extremely, extremely light, the rod. It has a super sensitive tip on it. Uh, it's also got the unique ability where you can literally tie the tip of the rod up in knots almost, and the rod works very, very well. This is a seven foot medium heavy spinning rod. Uh, Fuji guides, nice, uh, nice alkanite guides. A Fuji reel seat, uh, it's a touch reel seat. So the foregrip actually is the part that tightens the reel down. Uh, very nice pearl white blank. Um, seven foot, medium heavy, 15 to 30 pound. Be great with a 3,000 size spinning reel, or if you want, you could put a 4,000 size reel, uh, 15, 20, even 30 pound braid. Great for striped bass, uh, throw in a plug, or if you wanted to uh, throw in like an artificial sand eel or um, possibly even like a Ron Z. Just a really, really nice rod. Uh, they're right around $100, so not crazy priced. Um, over-the-counter warranty in the store as well, so a very, very nice offering from Tsunami. And the next Tsunami offering is a Tsunami uh, slow pitch rod. And the slow pitch craze uh, has taken over with a lot of offerings from a lot of the higher end companies. You know, slow pitch rods can be several hundred dollars. Uh, this Tsunami trophy rod is six foot. It is also a medium heavy, it's 15, 30 pound rated. Uh, again, we went with a spinning re uh, reel version on this one, a spinning version. Fuji guides once again, Fuji DPSM reel seat, very nice Eva grips, super light, uh, very sensitive. This rod is, would be awesome for uh, bucktailing in the bay, you know, just a little fluke bucktailing. Uh, it would be real good also for throwing light artificials um, like a, uh, a jelly worm, or if you wanted to throw uh, possibly like the Okuma Savage bait sand eels. Just a really, really great rod. Again, very, very economical at $99. And the last offering is from Maxell. And this is a Maxell Platinum Jigging Rod. This one is rated 65 to 130. Uh, we have a Maxell Ocean Max 10 mounted on it. This one's actually going out to a customer. Um, very proud of these rods. Uh, Trophy Tackle was lucky enough to get the prototypes of these rods almost a year and a half ago. So we did a lot, a lot of prototype testing on these rods in Florida, in California. There's still many of the prototypes out there. We did not break one single prototype. Um, Fuji Alkanite uh, low slung K-frame guides. Uh, very nice Hypalon um, foregrip. The back grip, instead of making a split grip like you so often see on so many jigging rods, we kept it a solid piece, but we tapered it so that when you put it in the rod holder, it doesn't damage the blank in the back. We have a Fuji palm, palming reel seat, and the nice thing about this is that it's a double lock reel seat, so we have the initial lock and then we have the jam lock, uh, usually found on rods that are much more expensive. Um, we have a Fuji rubber gimbal in the back, so again, very, very nice. It's rubber, you can put it on the deck, it's not going to slip, yet you can use it in a harness. The real Max L10, uh, this one has 450 yards of a 100 pound hollow core spectra on it. It's gonna get an 80 pound top shot. Uh, this is, I think in my opinion, one of the best rods for the money. The rod is $230 retail uh, for jigging bluefin tuner and yellowfin tuner. Uh, it's super, super light. Uh, we're really, really happy of this product offering. It's got some bling on it with some winding checks. Max L did a great job. And you can find all of these rods at trophytackle.com.